My name is Kelly McElligan. I work for Bywater Solutions. And about two years ago, Jesse and I, who's in this room right there, she's unfortunately not here because she's not feeling well. So let's cheer on Jesse for making a Hi. Um, we got together and started doing these tutorial videos for people that were using Koha. And these are open to everybody. This is not something that we only can use if you're a Koha part or Bywater partner. We have a YouTube channel, they're all out there. Are you sure? Um, that makes me think. Um, so we started doing this, and that's where we began. And George and Christopher, they'll introduce themselves, and they are doing something similar. So you are double upping on all the stuff that you can learn about Koha through our two groups. So one of the what was that? <laughs> um, just tell us a little bit about why you started doing your, um, who you are, and your terrific person start. I don't know where we came up with the name, but uh, my name is George Williams, and I work for Northeast Kansas Library System, and uh, I was the COHA U.S. president in 2019. And this was something that we had talked about in the education committee of Koha US is why don't we make some videos and do some training? And uh, Christopher and I volunteered to do that. So I'll let Christopher explain who he is. I'm uh, Christopher Brannon uh, with the Coeur d'Alene Public Library and the Cooperative Information Network. Uh, I've been with Koha US since the beginning uh, with George, and uh, uh, we've both served as officers, and we've been uh, highly involved with Koha US, and uh, yeah, we wanted uh, an opportunity to help uh, educate. We wanted to expand the education portion of Koha US, and this was our attempt to uh, get some things out there and get our feet wet with videos, so this was our first time doing videos together and it's been pretty incredible being able to have uh, people on two different sides of the, the states uh, doing a video together and sometimes in the same room um, but uh, yeah you know we just you know we just throw together some ideas and figure out what are some things that might be helpful to people and and what can we do to uh, educate people further because there, there are all these great ideas that are out there. Sometimes they're just sitting in uh, wikis and uh, we, we want to bring, we want to shed light on these things. So we just started talking about them. And uh, George, you were the one that came up with the idea. You just kind of plucked it out of the air uh, for the, the name of the, the show and it just kind of stuck. So yeah, Monday Minutes was taken. Yeah. So we needed something else. For one thing, we needed a different day of the week. <laughs> we did not do it so often. Yeah, we didn't want to do it every week. That sounds like a lot of work. One of the things I would say is that, um, you know, as much as, as it's good that we're doing educational stuff, Christopher and I have known each other since before we were using Koha. We've known each other since, I think, 2006 or 2007. Yeah, 2000. Because I used to live in Idaho. And um, so half of the reason that we do this, I think, is because it's fun. We like to hang out with each other. And this is just a way that we can do something together uh, once every other week. And I'm Jesse Zarrow. Everything that Kelly said and, you know, at Bywater Solutions, we find that education is super important. So anything that you have requests for and anything that we know is super important for Koha, we want to send back out to you. So that's our goal. Um, so they were joking, maybe you, you haven't heard of Jesse and, Jesse and myself. We have a every week, Monday Minutes tutorial video. And 
we actually both started in the education part of Bywater Solutions and, and realized that Koha is so it's such a deep pool of information, but how are people going to find their answers? A manual is provided, it's online, it's always there, but libraries all have different questions and different scenarios, and we wanted to take that information and make it digestible in a very short format. Um, I think that it's a great way for us to continue learning about Koha as we've moved out of the education portion of Bywater and also a way to connect with our partners. Um, I was recently had a training in Maryland um, and everyone was asking where my better half was. Where's your, where's, where's your other half? Where's Jesse? Why is Jesse here? So we've definitely, we've definitely made, um, you know, a name for ourselves in a way of like, making it um, consistent, so every week, and also trying to make it fun, you know, and that's probably why the Bitmojis are here, and I'll move, uh, you can't see Jesse, so let me move this little thing. <laughs> so there is a comment, uh, Kelly, there is a comment from YouTube that when you walk away from the computer too far, it is hard to hear you. Oh, sorry, okay, I'll stand right here. Um, thank you, George, thank you. Sure. Thank you. Um, so today we thought, actually, the, the gentleman in the, in the um, presentation today asked us to join to talk about our processes, and we all both have a unique way of doing things. We have it on a different schedule. What theirs is focused on is a little bit different than ours, but I suggest you all subscribe to the YouTube channels and get them in your email box or however it comes, um, so you know what's going on in the Koha land. So as I said, Jesse and I started um, doing Monday Minutes two years ago, two years ago. Every Monday in your email box, you will get a tutorial video that is less than seven minutes long. So another thing we noticed when we were doing tutorial videos before um, we started Monday Minutes, People weren't watching more than five to seven minutes. We get distracted. We get distracted by email. We get distracted by everything in the world. So we wanted to make that quick and something that's helpful and not make it drawn out too much. Because again, we all have busy lives. We all wear different hats. You can jump in anywhere you want, Jesse. I'm... And again, this is why, okay. So... These were our goals when we started Monday Minutes, short digestible content. So we break things down into by one topic. And we also, in addition to doing the YouTube video, we do a blog post. So we know that not everybody wants to watch a YouTube video. Not everyone wants to hear the yap, my yappy or, you know, our voices. <laughs> um, they may want to just read step by step. So step by step blog posts and also screenshots more links on the blog post because sometimes we refer to another Monday Minutes we've done or we've linked other things with it, topics. So again, tutorial video and written directions. We also wanted it something consistent. So hence Monday Minutes, every Monday morning. I think our first year we only had 51. I think we did take a Monday off without realizing it because it was a holiday, but now we have consistently, even on the holidays, right, Jesse? That's right. <laughs> Even on the holidays, we'll, um, <laughs> we'll do a Monday Minutes. We actually report them on Thursdays. And if we have to do two in one day, we will change our outfit. So you don't know we've recorded them on the same day. <laughs> <laughs> we have literally changed our shirts and said, okay, we can record the next one. So if we're out of town or we're not going to be able to make next week's Thursday, um, we are making sure we don't look the same. And we keep them generic enough that if any type of library is watching, whether it's an academic or a public or a special library, that any library can take advantage of what that special feature is in Koha. Yeah, and you know, even just not even just a special library, multi-branch or a single branch. There is so many different varieties of Koha and how people use Koha. It's nice to know that we may show it in one way, but we also talk about it in the blog post. Okay, if you're a multi-branch or we do it all at the same time, and the last one is, oh, later on I'll say, if it's a large topic, we break it up because we don't wanna, again, go over that seven minute time period. 
Lastly, we want to cover all the topics. So as much as we like to show the fun, OPAC things, we also have to show cataloging features because we know there are catalogers that want to see fun things. Oh, Hannah's over here waving her hand. Um, so we do try to accomplish a variety of topics. Right now, um, with Koha, you get two upgrades a year. So we are taking part in providing documentation and tutorial videos for our upcoming release. So we're also using that as a way to introduce people to new material that they're coming in the fall. So for all the Koha users, you're getting upgraded in the fall. And so, well, late fall, um, we're starting to present new things that you'll see in that upgrade. We're good? Any questions, please shout it out. And I keep on moving away. You guys have to tell me like, stay by the computer. So we thought we would break this down a little bit about how we create the content. So Jesse and I live nowhere near each other. So we are again on Zoom, just another Zoom meeting that we're doing. So we use some kind of, well, this computer is. Um, we use a couple of different things to make our tutorial videos come to your inbox. I talked about content, but like, what are we gonna talk about? Sometimes our seven minute videos take us an hour to run through. <laughs> I kid you not, right, Jesse? That's like, right. We have to test it. We have to go. Okay, what if they? What if we think of this scenario, or what about this scenario? Because again, we're trying to encompass all the types of libraries and the different scenarios that may come up. That we're trying to like get it all into this seven-minute chunk of information. So we do a lot of um, testing and setting up the scenario. So our content is first, and then we do. Screen capture software. Is that Zoom? Must be. We use Zoom. We use Zoom. Um, so we talk to each other on Zoom and we share our screen and we record at the same time. We've played around with other software because we'd love to continue to use an open source platform of, of type just to keep it within the family. We haven't quite found something that works well for us, but if anybody has any ideas, let us know. Um, but we use Zoom throughout our, our company since we're a telecommute company, so we're using Zoom most of the time anyways. After we record, we have the fun job of editing. Jesse's really good at editing <laughs> because it's, we kind of mess up sometimes, a lot of the time, right, Jesse? It's right. You know, as, as Kelly mentioned earlier, we, we take a lot of time as we're going through and like checking and balancing, making sure everything works right. We had somebody ask us once if we write a script, you know, before we do these. Now, Kelly and I have worked with each other for almost five years, so we're past the point of scripts, but... I would suggest a script if you are starting out for the first time, because that would give you a good outline of, you know, where to get to that point. But, you know, we'll talk about things that we've learned over the years. And if you make a mistake, it's okay. You can go back and edit it. And as you, you know, keep moving forward with making these videos, you'll get better and better at editing. Um, we did a presentation, um, I think at, uh, I can't remember, some Koha conference and I put a reel of our bloopers. <laughs> the bloopers were so I was like laughing editing this because of all the mistakes we made and we put it together into this like little clip to say like this is normal. This is an everyday event. We also um and we don't talk about this too much, but we also have guests. So we work with super smart people at Bywater. We have developers, we have web designers, we have systems admin people that know way more about the back end of things that we ask to join us. And they are super nervous. We don't know why. We're really fun. Like, just come on, hang, with, hang out with us. Sometimes we like Zoom attack somebody and just ask them to come into our Zoom. And then we're like, we're doing a Monday Minutes, everybody. So, hey. Um, and then they're very worried about our editing ability. But we do, we, we show them well at the very end. And then finally, we put it out to YouTube. So that's our video sharing platform. We have a YouTube channel, Bywater Solutions, already, which have 
regular training tutorial videos, a lot of like enhanced content information, a lot of like intro to Koha, intro to all our open source platforms, Coral and Libkey and Aspen. So we have a lot of information and then we have our own special playlist for Monday Minutes. So that's just, we didn't recreate the wheel there. We just said, again, let's put it all there. And with you now recently, YouTube has changed that you can actually search on our channel where for a while you couldn't. So it was really kind of not fun, but you can go right to our YouTube channel and search for what you're looking for. We also have the ability to break it out into other playlists. So we could say, this is Monday Minute. So if you wanted to binge watch Monday Minutes one evening instead of your Netflix, you can do that. Or you can say, hey, I want to like watch a cataloging one because I'm sick of hearing maybe Kelly and Jesse and I'll listen to Andrew for a while and they'll pop back over to Monday Minute. So we've kind of broken it out into categories such as Koha is already in categories or modules. Any questions about that? What we're using? Oh, sorry. Editing. We use Camtasia. So again, we do pay for that. But again, if anyone has any ideas what else to use, we find it very helpful. It's like a, I think we pay like a one-time price. And if we want to continue using that, it's fine. If we want to upgrade when they get some fancy new tools, we could pay more. But right now we're pretty happy with what we have. Basic editing we're doing. So we're not doing anything crazy. Um, and it really works well. When we get to George and Christopher's, they're going to talk about, they use different software. So you'll hear lots of different, um, different ideas. Optional, optional. As you saw in one of the first slides, we have like a theme. So Monday Minutes, there's our Bitmoji. Um, we put that on every one of our posts. So it's kind of a consistent thing. Schedule, like I said, it's on a Monday. We have a little bit of intro music that we got from the, I think I say later, that we just have it so you can hear it nowadays. My kids know what I'm doing if I'm editing a video because they can hear the theme and they're like, is, is it Thursday, mom? Are we editing our Monday Minute video? So they're already, they're into it, really into it. Anything you wanna add, Jesse? You know, these things are all optional, but we'll talk about this a little bit later. Canva is a free source that helps you create this information and you can even get a nonprofit Canva license. I think I'm jumping ahead to our, our next um, our next slide, but I, I think it's so important to keep branding consistent. So bringing in your library's logo and your theme, you know, is, is just so important, you know, with that. And YouTube um, chats are coming in and people are suggesting screencast, Screencast-O-Matic, which is one that um, we recommend that lets you do videos under five minutes. So if you're creating a short video, um, you can create that. And another person has said shortcut um, for editing and um, open shot video editor. So there are some free ones out there. Um, as Kelly mentioned, we use Camtasia and YouTube, but there's a lot of ones that you can, um, you can grab. Screencastify is another good one. And Screencastify, I like. Because again, it depends on the, what you're doing tutorial videos. And we're going to talk about a few examples that we've seen from our partner libraries and libraries around the country, what they're doing and how they're using this type of formatting to teach people things. Um, five minutes or less. So if you're trying to get something really quick, they also, as you click, tell me, you can raise your hand if you like that. When somebody clicks in a little video and they have like a little circle, is that helpful or not? Is that distracting or not? So Screencastify is nice, my opinion, because when I'm clicking, oh. Oh yeah, they're just telling me to stay around the computer. So I, I'm, okay. Oh, perfect. Oh, because it's a camera. Um. So that gives you a couple different features that you have on Screencastify that we don't necessarily have on Zoom. Um, we do have like presenter like ways to like whiteboard, but I don't think so this much. I don't think Jess does either. I think we'd have to figure out how to do it. So I already talked about this, YouTube. Oh, Vimeo is a good place to store your video. So I know a lot of libraries might be using Vimeo versus YouTube. 
I was just on this fantastic library website and they had like a gardening podcast. And so there was like a librarian and then like a local gardener. So it was, it was fantastic. I wanted to watch for the rest of the afternoon. So again, Netflix should just be go away and you can go through these tutorial videos. It'd be super fun. Um, in addition to the tutorial video, we, as I said, we do do the blog, the blog post. We wanna make sure that this information is out there for people, again, that don't wanna watch a video, that just want step-by-step -step instructions. I'm a step-by-step -step instructions kind of person. I kind of like to see somebody do it. If I'm like, I don't know where this is, what am I supposed to do? You have the backup. So you can do at the same, both at the same time. Also creating a blog post makes it available on our website. So we do a blog post plus a tutorial video, meaning you'll find it through our Bywater Solutions website. Again, open to everybody. Anybody can find our content and, um, and use it for their own purposes. We also can link to other resources for the, um, for the librarians that want to know more about. We did a four part series on circulation, the circulation matrix and who, who knows the circulation and matrix in Koha is pretty intense, right? You can't do that in seven minutes. Like that thing is like this long. So we're like, let's break this out. But we want to link them all at the same time. So if you're not an uh, avid watcher and you want to learn about it all at one time, you have that ability. So again, this, this is how we created a theme. This is where we're showing you Canva. Has anyone heard of Canva? It's fantastic. Oh, good. Yes, everybody. Canva is amazing. Like 100%, if you don't know it, go home, get, a, get an account, make your next Christmas card. I think Jesse sent me cards. Did you make Christmas cards from Canva, Jesse? Mm -hmm. I think she yeah. did. Yeah, so I mean, like, it's fantastic. Um, Bitmoji, that's where our Bitmojis come from. So we all know Bitmoji, right? Yeah. Um, so that's, and we can do the same thing. We can change our outfits. We did that. We've changed our outfits one other time. I think it's almost time to do it again. And um, we post it on our Instagram and Facebook. So again, we're just pushing this out and hoping people watch it and enjoy it and learn something. That's the most important part. Like our purpose is for everybody to take something home. And I think you somebody talked to me earlier today and said sometimes it doesn't pertain to my role but it's great to learn something new in Koha or to know Koha can do this thing so down six months down the road when we're like can we do this thing there was a Monday Minutes on it so pretty fantastic I'm, I think I'm almost done with our section before I go to the the um the gentleman over there but I I do want to say that with, oh, let me go to the next slide, see what it says. There we go. What I've learned. Look, I'm already thinking ahead to what my next slide was. Hi, come on in. So as I said, we've done this for two years. So two plus years, um, mistakes happen. We can edit them out. We've actually recorded an entire video, probably written the blog post, and one of us says, I don't think we nailed it. We got to do it again. And we have, I think we've done this multiple times where we think we've gone too fast. We didn't get the big part of it or we maybe glossed over something that we thought was larger. Okay, let's do it again. Again, it's seven minutes. So it's not too much time and we want to make it good. We want to make it so you come out of that with what we're teaching you with good information. As I said about the circulation matrix, if it's too large, we're gonna break it up. Part one, part two, part one, two, three, four. Um, right now we're doing a huge upgrade, I think eight week or 10 week, where we're just talking about things that are coming in the upgrade because we love upgrade season because you get new things. You know, you get really fun things. Um, go slow and deliberate. As you can tell, I'm a fast talker. Like I really have to, get in there and go slow and make sure we're showing you step by step. And have fun. We have fun. We really do. We have a good time. Um, if you've never watched, has anyone never watched Monday Minutes? No? Good. Okay. You're going to do it later. There is a holiday special 
based on a Saturday Night Live skit. So if you, <laughs> if you want to look for that one, that one's pretty good. We don't talk anything about Koha, but we just mimic a Saturday Night Live skit. So it's really fun. Um, and we've also created a spinoff called Deep Dive, where we're taking larger topics. So the serials module, the advanced editor, where we're like, this is a this is large. And we want to say, are you dedicated to this area? Are you, do you really want to know more? Come on and let's deep dive together. So you can look for those two. So a couple of examples that we have, Jackson County Library Services, they have a YouTube channel um, that was really fun to watch and look at what they've done with their um, kind of more outside of your tutorial content, but just using, using resources that the library has to be able to push out content, help your user in some way. I talked about my gardening but one, it was fantastic. And then also do, do space, which is a, a library in a way, but it's like a makerspace library. Has anyone ever heard of do space? They're out in um, Omaha, Nebraska. Nebraska. Nebraska, Omaha, Nebraska, and they have a huge maker space and you have a library card to go use their, their stuff. So there's some examples there. We also, I don't know if you can keep on seeing that. Ooh. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, I don't know how to go to the next one without it stopping. <laughs> <laughs> I can't make it stop. Okay. See, we're having fun, right? Nobody's going to make you laugh as much as I am today, that's for sure. Okay. Let me. Do you have any? We're going to head over to. Um, I'm sorry, I'm moving our screen faces. To Christopher and um, George to talk, talk about their terrific every other Thursday tutorial video, and then I'll leave for questions if that if that works for y'all. Okay. Well, I think um, you know we already mentioned that the genesis uh, was kind of you know Koha US the education committee had been talking about doing some videos, and Christopher and I volunteered. Um, Christopher and I have a pretty haphazard approach. Um, we don't have a regular schedule for when we get together and do this. Oftentimes it's, it's along the lines of, oh crap, it's Wednesday and we need to do a video by tomorrow. <sighs> That's not an uncommon thing. And then we'll talk to each other and it's like, do you have any ideas? I got nothing. Do you have anything? No, I got nothing. All right, let's make something up. <laughs> um, I don't, uh, no, Christopher, if you put anything in the slides, I thought that this uh, panel was tomorrow. So I am uh, i didn't have a chance to put anything, uh, to add anything to the slides. Um, so creating the content. Um, well, I think I just kind of covered a little bit of it there is that we usually, um, when we remember that there's one coming up on Thursday, we kind of uh, brainstorm with each other. You know, what have you got going on? Uh, what have you done interesting in the last few weeks? Um, and usually there always seems to be something because Christopher and I are always kind of poking around in Koha and figuring out what there is that we wanna that we wanna change. And that is, I think, a big difference in the content between uh, Monday minutes and the Thursday every other Thursday videos is that we tend to. Um, you know, Jesse and Kelly are talking about a lot of times about features that are built into Koha. And Christopher and I are often talking about features that we'd like to see in Koha, but they aren't there. So we've used jQuery uh, or CSS, um, or we've written some cool report that isn't built into Koha. And we want to teach people how to do that stuff because we both do a, a lot of that. I think the first video we did was about using, adding font awesome icons to the OPAC and to the staff client to make things with um, lost or missing statuses stand out um, so that people could, staff could easily pick out 
the things that had a lost or missing status bit by by changing the color of the uh, of the uh, table cell that the lost or missing status um, appears in, and then adding a little um, font awesome icon to say to, to make it easier to see on the screen that there's something wrong with this item. So, do you have anything to add there about content, Christopher? Yeah. Um, so yeah, we've uh, we've just you know kind of been flying by the seat of our pants. Sometimes uh, sometimes we're ahead of the game and we'll, we'll record our uh, sessions way in advance, but sometimes, like you said, <laughs> it's the day before, just like our, our last one. Um, you know, it, you know we, we both have uh, busy schedules. We both are doing things outside of Kohai US and, you know, finding the time uh, sometimes is a little tricky, but when we do, it's it's so much fun being able to do this because we can we can get on uh, Zoom and we use Zoom primarily to do the recording because you know there are a lot of tools out there that uh, you can do uh, recording sessions for just what's on your computer. But when you're collaborating, uh, for us Zoom has you know had everything that we've needed and uh, works well. So. But uh, I, I love being able to get on there with, with George and talk about stuff and, and geek out about some of the, the dumbest things you'd think sometimes. But uh, um, uh, we'll use Zoom to, to record stuff and uh, just getting on to what's on, on the slide here. Uh, Zoom is primarily what we use to record, but uh, we've I've used a couple different tools for, for editing. Initially, we were using uh, OpenShot Video Editor and uh, that worked quite well. Some people recommended it and some people are using it that I know of. But uh, um, as we progressed, I found there was there were a few glitchy things about it, that, uh, probably because of the size of our video uh, that wasn't working to my liking. So I, I did some more research and found a really good program called Caden Live. Uh, it is uh, open source as well and free for, for people uh, to use. And uh, it works quite well. The, the editing tools are uh, pretty, pretty good. And the, it has some great transitions and filters in it to, to incorporate. So uh, I've been using that uh, lately. And you know, it, recording is one thing, editing is another. You know, when you record, you know, if, if you're scripted, you could probably do a really decent uh, video just, you know, from beginning to end uh, through a recording. You know, if you're scripting, George and I don't like to script. <laughs> we like to talk about general, in general, what, what are we going to talk about? We walk through some of the things that we're going to discuss, and then we just kind of go from there. And so sometimes if it's a really complex one, I'll have an outline, but I never actually sit down and type, this is exactly what I'm going to say. I might have an outline that says, don't, so that I don't forget to talk about things. Um, you know, some of the ones we've done, there's an example of, uh, I think it's episode five through 12 are when we did, I mean, that's seven episodes we did that are all about uh, sequel. And we did them in small chunks where, you know, the first week we talked about how to put a link in a report in Koha. And then the next week we talked about um, uh, how to use concatenation and if then statements in reports. And so we did this for a series of six weeks. And then on the seventh week, we went through um, what we called the, the item dashboard finale which I think is like a half an hour long. And it takes everything that we had talked about in those previous six weeks and put it all into one report. So um, for that one, for the uh, dashboard finale, since I was kind of leading the discussion on that, I did have a pretty detailed um, outline of what I was gonna say because I didn't wanna leave anything out, so. And our, our videos vary, I mean, they can be, uh... 10 to 15 minutes long up to, I don't know what our longest one was, but uh, uh, we've had some, some lengthy ones. Um, 
we, we just, we tend to go in depth, especially with the coding, especially because it is stuff that we're incorporating into Koha. We'd like to show the nuts and bolts of how things work. So when you're incorporating it, you can uh, figure out what you need to do to tweak it to make it work for you if, it, if it's not working quite right. Um, jumping ahead here, because I know that the ladies are going to be doing a recording here. Uh, our tools uh, outside of Zoom and uh, Caden Live, we use Bitmoji for our, for our graphics. Uh, so that's pretty easy and, and they're really nice. Uh, there are so many different poses that you can get. So it really makes it versatile for what we do. And so I'll use that for not only for our, our title sequences and, and episode screens, but uh, little notes that fly out. Uh, it's just fun. It adds a little bit of character to your, your presentation. And uh, we have a theme song I grabbed from uh, Ben Sound. They have a royalty-free music section uh, that was really handy and found something that really worked uh, for what we were doing. And you know, what we're doing is out there for free. Uh, as long as it's out there for free, you can use the, the music and we just plug it at the end on the, the last slide, uh, according to their, you know, their wishes. And, you know, that makes that, that music available. So that's really nice to, to have those resources available. And our online video sharing platform, we will uh, store our videos on our YouTube channel. And we have, uh, that's uh, separated out uh, within a, a, a subgroup in the, in the channel. And then we post all of this on our actual uh, webpage at koha-us.org. We have a section in the learn uh, tab where you can see all the videos that we've, we've posted. So uh, on that, in addition to those videos uh, where we list them on Koha, US, we also list all the resources that we're referencing. So it's easy for you to find those wikis to get to the, the, the code that we uh, mentioned. So um, we just want to make sure that people have uh, easy access to those resources. And, uh, and we, you know, the other important part about doing any of these uh, things is getting the word out. You know, I'm throwing the word out about the videos when they're when they're posted out on uh, Koha US uh, listserv. I throw the, the word out on Slack and I've noticed that the Koha newsletter has been picking up uh, the uh, episodes that we've been doing. So we've been seeing a lot more promotion of that through the newsletter, which has been nice and um, never had to ask. So, you know, and, and, there, and now we're, we've got a, a Slack channel for Koha US uh, that we can be posting this out on as well. So, um, and I think it's back to you, ladies. I, I'm also, in addition to being part of this presentation, I'm also the moderator for this channel um, today uh, until this presentation's over. And we've got seven minutes left. Is that going to be enough time? Yeah, I don't think we're going to record today. I think we're going to just hold, we're going to just not. So, yeah, I think the technical issues at the beginning cut enough time off the end of this that I don't think we're going to have enough time. So, exactly, exactly. But we can open it up for questions and see if anybody has any questions. And um, I heard a lot of applause over there. So, I just want to say before we end, like, we need to like bring it. Okay. Regardless of what you think, just put it together and make it loud because, like, Every Bywater person that's here is over in the other room. Nobody stayed with my support. <laughs> um, so any questions? I'm sure you're all Googling Monday nights and watching it. So if you haven't, please, you know, our purpose really, all four of us, our purpose is we love Koha. We, we all would love to shout it from the rooftops, whether, you know, we're with Koha US or Bywater Solutions or there are libraries that use Koha without anything and they do it themselves. Our resources are free to anybody because again, it's an open source software. We're excited for anybody to use it. We think of you all as community members if you're using it and we want everyone to grow. I mean, hello, Cecilia's presentation said it all this morning, didn't it? I know I'm getting some nods in the back. Yeah, she rocked it on saying how amazing Koha is and you have four more people that could tell you that and just want to continue letting people 
you know, grow and, and get better and feel like they're, they're winning every day against the software. You know, like I made this work. I wrote this report and my day is going to be so much easier for that because of something I found as a resource. That's something I would say is that 99% of the hacks and reports that I write in Koha, the whole point of that is to make it easier for me to do my job mm -hmm. because I'm lazy. So I will spend 40 hours figuring out a way to cut like three minutes off of a task. Um, and there's nothing better than teaching other people how to devote a ton of time and effort to saving themselves 40 seconds a day. <laughs> it's clicks. It's about the clicks. Like how many times do I have to click this? I've, you know, in, you know, we can, then we can talk about the co-op community and the constant, you know, enhancements that are being done. You know, I'll sit in a room with a developer and he'll say, you have to click that three times to do the thing. And I'm like, well, yeah, it's like a confirm. Oh no, no, no. And then he's writing a bug to file a patch to fix it because that's three clicks to do one thing. That's not going to work. So I think that Christopher and, and um, George do an amazing job of like, how do I take it to the another, another level? They both work in large consortiums where there's lots of people using the system and they have different needs than other people in the Koha community and they're making it work for their library. And that's probably the best part about Koha is that it's customizable and they're changing it for themselves. And then eventually it will become everybody's when they develop it, right? right? <laughs> I just want to add too, you know, one of the nice things, you know, I think everybody should dabble a little bit in video trainings, you know, whether it's just a short tutorial for your catalog or, you know, sharing something that, that you've learned that, that's going to, to benefit other libraries. Um, I noticed that uh, um, Fred mentioned that even with a script, things don't always go, uh, always work. And um, that is true, but I, I will tell you, when we script things out, it, when I script things out, I noticed that there's a big difference in my presentation in, you know, if I'm just going off the cuff, I'm editing out a lot of, um, uh, and clicking and <laughs> moving <laughs> around here. And, uh, when I script, I find that those us go away. And, mm. and so it's improved my presentation skills. So even when I'm not doing videos, it helps me to slow down a little bit and think through and think about what I'm talking about to people, whether it's over Zoom or if it's in, live in person, it helps me with my presentation skills. And I've really appreciated the benefit of that. Mm -hmm. The only thing scripting really does for me is it allows me to turn off the filter that keeps the dirty words out of the off-the-cuff presentations. <laughs> if I don't have to have that filter on, I'm just uh, scripting. That's the one good thing I get out of scripting. Things. <laughs> what a way to end, huh? <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's such a, like, really, really. Any questions at all? You... you. You got it? Yeah. You know, like ready to make your own tutorial videos or at least watch ours? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, I don't think we have any information. Is it, do we have an end slide or no? Uh, no, no. We don't. Okay. Well, if anybody that's, has any that's questions. That's the end slide right there. This I can ask, can answer anybody's question afterwards. If you find me, you want to ask me privately, I'm here for y'all. I'm here. I'm here. And thanks so much for coming to this track versus that track. So now this is when you do you know the one thing i will add at the end here is if you have any questions for us our email address is cbrannon at cdalibrary.org I'll, I'll pass that information on don't worry don't worry i'll get it yeah i'll get it to them okay thank you so much